What is up, YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com. And in this video, I'm going to do a Jasper chat tutorial and a breakdown to see if it's better than chat GPT. If you're a content creator like me, you're looking for an edge to write creative content. So in this video, I'm going to do a breakdown and show you the pros and cons of each so you can set, decide which one is better for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here on my computer and I'm on the Jasper website and they have Jasper Chat. Jasper Chat is a conversational AI model where you can have a conversation and ask questions and get answers. So right here, right away, you can already see they have uh, different prompts you can use. You can um, create a list of 10 blog posts about, write a paragraph. So I'll go ahead and click write a paragra paragraph about how to meal prep. You go ahead and hit um, the go button and it's going to type uh, meal prepping is a process of planning and pre prepping meals in advance save money on groceries so we have that here so you can um, uh, write a intro paragraph and go and hit all right so just right away you can ask everything from um, let's go ahead and put right in outline for a blog post about how to meal prep and you can you know continue going down the list so with chat gpt if i go over to chat gpt this is their interface here. So if I went over and I went ahead and copied this one here, I can go over to ChatGPT and ask the same question and see what type of response I would get. So I'm going to hit. So it takes a little bit with all the people now using it. It takes a little bit longer. All right, so right here you have meal meal prep involves preparing and cooking food in advance, usually for a week ahead. So it's, it's going down the list. It's writing. All right, as you can see, it's giving me more than a paragraph. You know, you can use this uh, for a couple paragraphs. So this is the answer that chat GPT gave me. So if I go back over here, uh, Jasper chat, um, I went ahead and did write an outline for a blog post about how to meal prep. So I broke it down. So then I can do the next question would be, uh, I can do right in intro and then, or write about, I'll go ahead and click here, write about, What is the meal prep? What is meal prepping and why is it beneficial? So I'll go ahead and click that. And I'll go ahead and copy this exact. So right away, that quick, Jasper Chat gave me an output. If I put that same one over here, I'll go ahead and paste it. All right. So then I'll let that run real quick because it takes a little bit. So I'll go back over here. Um, so again, if right now at the time of this video, ChatGPT is free. Um, I don't think it'll be free forever. I think this is an introductory uh, time where they where they uh, want people to give it a try. But I think in the future there's going to be a price to it. So currently, like I said, with Chat Jasper Chat, uh, it's part of the Boss Mode plan where you can give it a try, use it. So one of the other benefits is here in the interface so when you you're writing something you can hide it from jasper you can give it a good um, thumbs up thumbs down you can uh, retry again for the same question you can also also copy the message and then you can open it in a document so one of the for a content creator that you know writes articles um, you don't want to have to be copying and pasting all the time so opening it up in a in a document and you know, using it to write a full article in one place. Uh, that's a pro for Jasper Chat. As you can see right here, 
Uh, Jasper is, mo is more of a AI writing assistant. So you can um, start here, create an outline, start writing all your information you need. All right. So one of the other benefits. Okay. So this is, this is um, the output it gave me. Meal prepping is active preparing food. Okay. So it gave me two, two pair, three paragraphs here that you can use. If I came over here, one of the other benefits to, let me go ahead and, and um, I'm going to go ahead. One of the other benefits to Jasper is that Jasper writes in 29 different languages. So if I was here and I would put translate into Spanish. Okay. Translate. I'm going to go ahead and put translate above paragraph. Is that wrong? Paragraph into Spanish. Very quickly, in a matter of a few seconds. In a matter of a few seconds, that quick, uh, the above paragraph right here, Jasper went ahead and wrote it in Spanish. So if you have a, a few websites and you want to just create duplicate websites with, you know, in a different language, you can easily copy, um, translate your articles into different languages and you can get more exposure that way. All right. So with um, uh, chat GPT, let me see if it does it. Um, translate. Oops. Above paragraph. Oops. Oh, why is it not typing right? Um, in Spanish. I today wants a capital. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and translate above. Okay, so it does the same. It also translates into different languages. All right, I'll let that type. Like I said, it does take a little while, a little longer to type compared to Jasper Chat. Uh, one of the other benefits of Jasper Chat is that Jasper Chat uh, Jasper has a Chrome extension, so you don't only have to be in the website; you can be on different. Uh, websites you could also be inside of an actual document so let's just say i was creating an email or a welcome email um, if you have the chrome extension you can just click on the actual icon here and write uh, write a welcome email to my new excuse me to my New subscribers. All right, and I could just that quickly hit the um, hit the go. It wrote it for me. I have right here. I can do a copy. I could open in Jasper. I can regenerate. So I'm just going to get in and copy it, and I can paste. And that quick, it says, "Thanks for subscribing to my mailing list. I'm excited to have you on board. You can't wait to share my latest content with you." So that quickly it can you know it can write so the so Jasper Chat and Jasper also has the Chrome extension that you can use. All right, so I'll go back here. So it also does write in Spanish, you know, or it does translate uh, languages. All right. So the last thing I want to do, which is the most important for content creators. All right. So when creating content, um, I found a website here. Well, this one is uh, AI content detection. So uh, ChatGPT is really good for, you know, uh, doing some research, finding out information, but it's very detectable as AI writing, as an AI writing tool. So there's websites where you can actually uh, see your content. Uh, one of them is uh, Content at Scale. They have this AI content detection. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go ahead and copy this paragraph here. And I'm going to take it over to the uh, AI content detection. So I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, 
check for AI content. And that quick, I was able to get looks great, human content score of 100. All right, so right here, 100% real, 0% fake. So if I actually went over to ChatGPT and I copied, copy, let's just say uh, this here. Oops, let me go ahead and just do these two here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to paste it instead of what I wrote. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, check AI content score. And right here, boom, obviously AI. Uh, 100, or excuse me, 0% real, 100% fake. So this is a big difference. So if you're really um, serious about an AI writing assistant, assistant, I would really recommend Jasper and Jasper Chat. Uh, if you'd like to give Jasper a try, I'll put a link in the description to get 10,000 free words. Um, if you uh, don't have the budget for it and you're still just new to it, then I would recommend just staying with ChatGPT, uh, using it as you go. But I think over time, uh, the better that it's, it can pass a human uh, or human content score, uh, the better. So there you have it. This was a Jasper Chat tutorial and uh, an overview of it related to ChatGPT. As you can see, um, if you're serious about it, I would recommend uh, using Jasper uh, for you know written content. Uh, you can also still use ChatGPT, uh, mess around with it. But again, if you want to give it a try, I'll put a link in the description. You get 10,000 free words. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit the like, subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, which one are you using? What, have you tried Jasper? Let me know in the comments. Thank you again, and I will catch you on the next video.